Daniel Mink overcame many obstacles to earn his degree in graphic design. His work, rooted in ancestral designs, creates a modern visual identity for Cherokee Nation. Daniel's vision and iconic style are seen by people all over the world. To take my culture, my heritage, and to put it into the form of art, form of design, I feel like now I've contributed something to the bigger picture, to our people, to our story. Hello, my name is Dan Mink. Um, I'm the lead graphic designer for the Cherokee Nation uh, Communications Office. I'm more of a cultural designer. I do ads, brochures, posters, t-shirts, and I kind of see myself as trying to combine traditional art to a modern look. I think one of the most beautiful and brilliant things about Dan's work is how he incorporates not only these motifs that have been around for thousands of years and that our ancestors have used, but he puts them alongside vibrant modern design elements. And so it's really able to marry the history of Cherokee Nation with the future of Cherokee Nation into one graphic. Dan's work really reaches everybody on a global level because a lot of his work is used to portray Cherokee Nation to the outside world. And especially around the time of Cherokee National Holiday, when we have materials going out, his work really has a global audience. And so I think it's really important how accurate his work is and how beautiful his work is because it really serves as the face of Cherokee Nation. My job here when I was hired was to create an identity for us, a distinctive look for the Cherokee Nation. Now here we are, I mean, 15, 16 years later. Here, here, here in this office, this is where it began. This is kind of an extension of me now, this little stylus pen. And it's just a different medium now, instead of oil, paint, it's a click here, a drag here, a little click and hold to have a different function on the pen. When I'm doing this, that's kind of when I'm in the zone. I don't say a lot, and I'm not really, I don't really speak that much. A lot, a lot goes in my head. There's a lot of emotions involved in some of these designs and creations. When, um, I finally got the chance to work for the Cherokee Nation. I was really excited because I could bring a skill to the culture, to bring language, to bring um, our own identity as a Southeastern tribe, uh, Mississippian mound builder art which I didn't know existed really until I started working here because I was used to seeing, you know, Plains Indian designs all my life, you know, the geometric design. But here, it was organic, flowing, serpentine-type designs that I was seeing. Southeast art, a lot of it is continual. There's one line and it forms a lot of different figures. This is my take on the uh, stick ball player using those circular uh, flowing shapes. Uh, this is for the, our judicial system, justice system, has our seven pointed star on there and then our, our seal and then the, the wreaths. The two wreaths represent the cooperation between the Cherokee Nation and the state of Oklahoma. The seven points here are the represents the seven clans and the scales, scales of justice, there's 14, and that represents our 14 county area of our reservation. To incorporate those designs into the Cherokee Nation, to the um, look of the tribe, to set us apart from different tribal organizations, 
and then to incorporate my language because uh, I grew up speaking Cherokee. I mean, that, was my, that was my first language. When I get a chance to incorporate the Cherokee language into the designs, it's always a, a, a plus. What I look forward to every year is the Cherokee National Holiday because I know they'll need a poster. That's, I guess, the highlight of the year for me as a designer to come up with the next poster for that year. I've been working on the uh, Cherokee National Holiday posters since 2004. Almost every element of the posters has meaning, has some kind of symbology. This one from 2014 is my favorite because of uh, the uh, double-headed bird, again, taken out of the Southeast design uh, artifacts. To have the opportunity to create this year in, year out for my tribe, it brings pride to me just in a really personal level. When I started on this, this journey, it was to get an education. I grew up um, south of Stillwell, Oklahoma. I was uh, one of eight kids, the youngest of the boys, and uh, had a, a birth defect, so called uh, spina bifida. It was a, a milder form of it, what I was told. Uh, a severe form, kids get that, they don't, they have, paralyzed from the waist down. They're conformed to a wheelchair most and really don't live past their teens. So I guess I got lucky on that one. But the handicap kind of kept me out of, uh, of school. I got the basics, you know, my ABCs and, uh, you know, add and subtract from my mom. So I got by, but that always, you know, I thought, well, I didn't really uh, think I would uh, go anywhere. But I uh, made the best of it. I uh, picked up drawing kind of early. As far as I can remember, I've, uh, I had a pencil and a piece of paper. But you know, when I got older, I started thinking about what am I gonna do? So to just be here now, that's more than enough for me. As far as what I've done, People tell me they're gonna be around for a long time and they're gonna wonder where these designs came from. And I don't think about that. I'm just happy to contribute. If my art contributes just a little bit to the bigger picture, the bigger story, then all that stuff, all what life has molded me into, uh, as you see here today, I mean, it's paid off, it's worked. I mean, it's, it's been worth it. But I have, uh, you know, come a long way, a long way, really. I had no idea I would be doing this. And all I wanted really when I started out to was just to get an education and a job. I just wanted to give back. So it's the way uh, my creator said to give. This is what he gave me to give back, so here, here it is.